All right. Uh, hello, I'm Drunken Uncle, and yeah, fuck it. Let's just get into it. I'm wearing the heaviest sweater I own right now because the heating in my dorm is broken and it is cold in Chicago. Please send help. Oh my fucking god. Every fucking. Why do people. People edit these things, don't they? So what, why do they put these fucking things at the beginning? Like, talking to parents about gender and sexuality, but first, let's talk about my fucking cardigan. Something I get asked to talk about a lot is coming out. Yeah, but nowhere near as much as people ask you to shut the fuck up, I bet. But here's the thing. I really, really don't like giving coming out advice. Coming out is an extremely messy thing that so depends on who you are and what your situation is. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold on. Are you wearing safety goggles? See, it's, 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 it's this fucking attempt to be quirky from you all the time, isn't it? But it's not. It's fucking retarded. I'm going to wear safety goggles as a fucking fashion accessory. What? What are you... And there's never really one right way to come out to guarantee a positive reaction. However, if there's one thing I know about coming out, it's that my coming out process would have been a lot easier had I been able to talk to my parents when I started questioning my gender and sexuality. My oh no, see, yeah, oh, obviously it's your parents' fault that you've turned out to be such a fucking wrong'un, isn't it? Yeah, blame the parents. My parents never really sat me down to give me the talk, so discussing sexuality with my parents was awkward and I didn't really know how to bring it up. Of course it was fucking awkward. You're talking about sex with your fucking parents, right? They don't want to think about their children having sex any more than their children want to think about them having sex. So, I, I, well, whatever gives you an erection, Milo, I don't fucking know. I think my parents have always been supporters of marriage equality, but whenever they would talk about trans rights or trans people in general, they never really talked about them in a positive manner. Uh, no, right, so they basically had different ideas than you do, is what you're saying. Fucking parents! Which I believe is mostly because they were uneducated on the subject. Fuck me! Do you know, if I said that to my mum, if I went out to my mum you know, today and just, oi ma, you're uneducated, she would whack me one, son! Fuck! But it was awkward. Oh, it was awkward. I just don't get why anyone would want to change genders. It just doesn't make sense to me. You know? I think really what's awkward here is, is you're implying that you're having a bath while your mum's doing her makeup in the same room. Now that's fucked up. That would make, I mean, that would probably turn me into a transgender fucking. Uh, that's not right, mate. It's fucking Freudian right there. I really didn't talk to my parents about these topics because I was really embarrassed and sort of ashamed of my own questioning process. I'll be ashamed of your fucking haircut more than anything, Milo. Plus, I was scared of how my parents would have reacted. I feel like if I had been able to talk to my parents and my friends while going through the questioning process, I wouldn't have lived in as much shame. And, oh, I can just imagine how much easier it would have been to come out. You could talk to your parents, it's just they weren't saying what you wanted them to say. So they're uneducated. Mom, someone at school called me a dyke. What does that mean? Well, it sounds like you go to school with some smart kids there. Hey, Mom. I'm taking this Am I Gay quiz, and I have a question. What's the L word? What? what, what you, what's the L word? It's, that sounds like a fucking crossword more than a quiz, you fucking... In all honesty, I think it would have been funny to see how my mom would have reacted to younger me asking her these questions because she was always awkward about answering questions about sex. I remember coming home from middle school one day to ask her what the word orgasm meant. I think you, you, you misread the word organism in biology, that's what it is. But then I would expect nothing less from someone who wears safety goggles as a fucking fashion accessory. Because one of my friends in school used the word, and I didn't know what it meant. Instead of trying to explain what an orgasm is, she just 
told me to not be friends with the person who had used that word. I feel like a lot of people lack understanding of different sex ed topics because adults oftentimes suck at explaining these things to kids or just don't know how. No, Milo, they don't suck at it, do they? They've got more fucking life experience than you have at the moment. You should just basically sit on your white ass and listen to them once in a fucking while instead of just thinking, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. You know, may may maybe they got something to say. Maybe, like, you know, they've done a good job raising you. Nah, nah, take that back. Your parents are idiots. And you can't really Google most sex ed topics without just getting porn. Right, in which case, watch the porn, right? The, you can be taught about sex, or you can fucking observe it, right? And y you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn. I mean, don't get me wrong, when I lost my virginity, I found it a bit odd that I didn't have to finish up on the girl's face, but, I mean, you learn. Even for trying to figure out your gender or sexuality, if you Google transgender people too far on the internet, you will get porn. It's unfortunate. Trans misogyny is disgusting. No, trans misogyny is obviously big fucking business, isn't it? But that's a thing. Actually, a huge reason why I found the LGBT community on YouTube was because I didn't have anyone in real life to talk about these subjects with, and I couldn't find a whole lot of other useful information online. No, you did have people in real life to talk to, Milo, just no one who fucking agreed with you. That's why I'm really excited about this new YouTube channel called Amaze, which makes animated sex ed videos. Right, so animated sex video- so, you, you're watching fucking hentai? Which are not heteronormative or cisnormative. Amaze makes videos on sex, relationships, puberty, sexuality, and gender identity. And I think you should go and check them out. Or, RedTube. Linked in the cards and in the description. I'm just saying, it's like about time we had a resource for sex ed that was not cisnormative or heteronormative and that actually talks about gender identity and expression. We, we do have a resource for sex education that is not cisnormative or heteronormative. It is called taking the piss out of each other in the fucking playground. Kids know what fucking gay sex is. They've been taking the piss out of it since before anyone fucking thought of having this class. Shut up, Milo. Fucking hell. Thank the Lord. God bless. Praise Jesus. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for watching. Peace! Yeah, no. Yeah, thanks for that upload, Milo. I can't wait for your next video so I can feel the fucking vein in my forehead throb away again. Yeah, this is fucking... I always thought that uh, sex education in school was a bad idea anyway because, like... I mean, let them be kids for a little while, and, and fucking hell, see, when I was in school, it was fucking every year we had to have sex education, just in case we forgot where to put it, you know? But also, at the same time, oh no, you can't have sex until you're 16, but we're going to teach you about it uh, when you're like 10. Which is fucking, oh my days, at 10 years old, you're just like, I don't want to think about other people's bits. I don't even want to think about my own fucking bits right now, I'm 10, leave me alone, motherfucker. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like it, then I'll do another one, and if not, then you just got bad fucking taste, really, aren't you? Catch you later.